All right, guys, we're in an apartment building today, and we got to take a look at a toilet in a master bathroom. So we got to remove the toilet and snake the drain. Hopefully, she doesn't have everything blocking my way to get in. But we'll see when we get up here. Thank you. I'm just gonna shift this over here. Thank you. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Hook up a retrofit valve.
to here. <laughs> I can plug in a, um, a cord. There's a lamp that's popping. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. Um, let me take a look. I didn't take a, like even take notice. So. Oh, you know what that is? That's uh, that's old paper, like toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. That's gross. <laughs> oh my god! Toilet paper turned black. Crazy. Everything turned black. Really, eh? Oh. That's why it's like, if you look at uh, Greece, yes. when we when we snake kitchen lines, the the cable comes back black, like dark, dark black, and it's just like I been I was at a kitchen one time and that everything white, everything was spotless. I was pulling my cable back and the cable got stuck, so I actually had to spin the machine. And when you spin the machine, the cable spins at really high speed and it, it like splattered everything. Like I mean everything was spotless white and like, I spent I think like six hours cleaning that unit and it's like for something like literally a tenth of a second just like, like because yeah. Not fun for me. Yes. So um the problem here is in the main stack, so it's, uh, it's not your fault. I know the, the managers, they're like, we need to know if anything was down there that wasn't supposed to be in the toilet, right? It's like, no. so, no, I, they, they don't have a maintenance guy, really. They really don't. And then when you tell them to get one, they say, well, it's not your problem if there's nothing in the toilet. What do you mean? Just be glad that you're up here because if you were on like the first two, three floors, they have so many issues with the drain because everyone's stuff is coming in to theirs, right? So be glad you're up here. Yep. That I, I can't speak on because I'm not allowed. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean? It's like I've I've been told I'm not allowed. I'm not even supposed to be talking to tenants about anything, and it's like I I don't agree with that, but. Unfortunately, they are the ones that pay us. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's... It's... Like from a business perspective, I get where they're coming from, but, right?
Good news, everything's done. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you no, <laughs> because there's a couple reasons. I can't control what goes down, either this floor or any others. So there's that. And maybe there's an issue with the pipe, and maybe it backs up in five years, right? I don't know. Um, 
There's been units I went to, completely empty units. Nobody even lives there. It's flooding out, right? Because it's in the stack. So, when you have stacks like that, apartment buildings and condos and stuff like that, even townhouses, some townhouses, thought about the light. Um, they, they back up like that because there's a, a main stack, right? So. Yeah, there's a couple things. Um, in your washrooms, make sure absolutely nothing other than toilet paper goes down the toilet. Most people will tell me, we don't put nothing down. I know. I know you don't. I'm not here to blame you. I know you do, but I'm not here to blame you. Um, even if you see something that says flushable, don't flush it. These toilets are so, so sensitive that anything will plug them up and the management will find any reason to back charge, right? So that's one of the main reasons for the washroom. Um, get strainers for your sinks, bathroom sinks, kitchen sinks, uh, even your bathtub. Really? Yeah, um, because you got hair, right? Yeah, sure. The hair will go down and it will definitely plug up and some management will look at the tenant and say, you've been here for 10 years. Clearly the hair is yours, right? Right? I'm not saying yes or no. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be saying anything to anything about anything. Um, kitchen sink. Don't pour oil down your drink. I know you don't. Don't pour grease down. I know you don't. You probably do. Most people do. I do. In my own house, I do, believe me. Hello. But there's a couple reasons why I do. Or it's a habit, right? But we're creatures of habit. We, we do it. And it's, but I also have the tools to fix it. Right? That's the only thing. Exactly. Meet me in the living room. Yeah, just... Don't pour anything down the drain that's not supposed to, right? If you get strainers for all your drains, food and stuff like that can't go down. If we come in and uh, open up your pee trap under your sink, your drain, and we find it full of rice and full of food and stuff like that, that didn't come up, that went down, Okay. right? The management will bill you for that, wow. right? We're supposed to tell them every time. I don't, I don't. But okay. I'm also a nice guy only one time, right? <laughs> if I come in and it's like, Okay, don't do this, right? Yeah, oh, it was the kids, like, yeah. right? And it's like, okay, not a problem, no big deal, one time, right? But then I come back a month later and it's the exact same thing, and it's like, you're like, oh, it wasn't me. I was literally here, I told you, right? There's times where I'll go in and I'll remember that I was there, I won't say anything. Yeah. I got my camera, this is safety for me. Yeah. I come in here, you say I did something to you. Yeah. I'm, re I'm recording, I'm, you know what I mean? It's. So I record my jobs, but it's also for my safety. Was it bad that I, when it was over the that I put the water in the sink? You was recirculating it. There, all the drains are connected. So you, you was doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if that ever happened where this toilet's backing up, but that one's not, put it there. Oh. Right? Okay. They all tie in together, but at different levels, different areas so if one's backing up and one's not put it there all right so because yeah this because that's the first thing i did when i came in here i started running the sink right and i wanted to see if it was backing up wow and i seen that it was backing up it's like all right i gotta pull the toilet wow all right so it's okay wow. you learned something new today I did. all right and at least now i know how to try to prevent it come and show me now <laughs> Let me see. It's a new surprise! Holy! Oh, you're so sweet! How old are you? Um. Five? Four? Yeah. <laughs> I got a little girl. She's seven. Oh, yeah. yeah. I also got a 13 year old son. Oh, Boy first? That's all we think. You gotta deal with the boy's attitude. 
So, anyway, you guys have a good day, all right? Just remember what we talked about, all right? Thanks a lot. Bye now. All right, guys. So, it's been Jay that drain guys time to go. You've seen that we had to pull the toilet sink to main drain. Uh, nothing we found in there. It's just probably some buildup over time. So, this is it. Sure, I've done.